Hello, in this video we are going to cover the text field object within Cocos Studio. A text field allows the user to input some text. An example of where you would want to use a text field is a login form. And in a login form you'll usually have at least two different text fields. You'll have the username text field or an email address text field and a password text field. You'll usually combine that with some sort of button object which when, which when clicked will submit the username and password get some sort of response back saying yay or nay or there's an error occurred for whatever, for whatever reason and you would handle it accordingly. But those text fields that you would input your data in, that's what we're going to be covering, how to use them in Cocoa Studio. So if you just drag on a text field object and if you scroll down in the feature section, it shows you all the different properties you can modify that are specific to the text field. There's a placeholder, which is just the default text that's there and gets deleted when you start typing. So if I actually run this, zoom in, there we go. And if I click it and start typing, as you can see, the words text field were deleted and my word, hello, I has now replaced it. And now the text, now I'm gonna put text field here. You might be thinking, what's the difference between placeholder and text? If you don't already know about it, because if you've done a lot of web dev, then you most likely will know. The text field is the actual text that you're typing, so you can have some default text. So let me just run this and illustrate what I mean. So if I click on this now and start typing, I'll uh, explain why that happened in a second. But if, yeah, actually, let me just rerun it. And zoom out, click on it. If I start typing, it just appends it to the end of what's already there. Whereas placeholder gets replaced and text is just some default base text that is there. You might be wondering what happened when I kept typing. And the reason it's cut off is because the characters haven't got deleted. It's just the text field isn't big enough. So if I just increase the size of it, actually, let me show you this. If I were to try and actually increase the size like this, that just scales it. So that's not what you want. You want to change the size here. I'm going to put 200. That's fine. And then if I rerun it and go to view, 200%. When I start typing, I'm going to type a lot more characters and obviously it's cut off again. You can change the height as well very easily. Again, that's just dependent on your game application. The next property is the font style. So first of all, you can change the color. I love red, so I'm going to change it to that. Change the size, I'm going to ch change it to 22. You can select a font file, .ttf and .ttc formats are supported in Cocoa Studio. And I've got a .ttf format, I mean file on the desktop, it's all imported. If you don't already have any resources, it will add it to your project resources, so it's not actually accessing it from the desktop anymore. And it's set it as you can see. And password, this is basically allowing you to have some sort of character instead of what you type because a lot of the time i very rarely seen a password field that doesn't have some sort of password char that's what it's called char just uh, being short for character so it's basically replacing the characters you've typed with well, the password character so it's just more secure as just in case somebody is just sitting by you looking over your shoulder that sort of stuff or even looking at your screen via some sort of screen recording device so if I uh, were to type H, it replaces everything with H. And obviously if I were to just type asterisk, that's most likely what you will want because that's a generic standard. And the next, uh, actually I'm gonna get rid of this for now. And the final property is the length limit. So if I put this to 10, run it, and if I go to 200%, as you, if you actually count it, this is exactly 10. So if I click on it and start typing, I can't do anything. But I can actually delete it. So if I, as you can see, the placeholder has now appeared because all text was deleted. I'm gonna put hello, space world. 
Space also counts as a character, so it's characters, not letters or numbers, it's characters. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and we can't go any further. So that's it for text fields. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk forward slash questions.php. There'll be a link in the description. We haven't covered how to actually access a text field in your project using code, and that's because Coca Studio doesn't support code. But we'll have a link in the description taking you to our API guide, which shows you how to actually access text fields within code so you can, well, get that data from it. So thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.